start of this, none of us would have believed these two teams would have been here. Especially in the look, the form that they both hit. But what a time to come into it. Starting out, be Liquid on the attacking side. Fnatic on the defensive side and already early action. Yeah, very, very deep up here on a lobby for both teams. Spike actually going to be dropped early. Cryptics will trade back out into Mystic. Fnatic now in a 3v4. Spike will be retrieved. Scream trying to close down the distance here. Look at that. Be hard cleared and... Let's see, Durka and Magnum actually on the flank. Cryptic's ready for it, lands a headshot, but it will stabilize for the time being. Oh, now, take a second, breathe it in. A 2v3, but look at the pace that Fnatic are trying to get back into this with. Durka has to hit the brakes for just a second. Three on the site. Post plant begins. Nice little smoke comes down. Link going to create a little bit more safety to work with. And Link will be probably the one to receive this. Wall goes in, he knows what's up, but Killjoy's going to make it a little bit trickier for him, but no, maybe not. Link's just fine. Liquid with three standing, a spike plant, and the first round on the board. That's he really close to getting that one. Magnum through the alarm box. Also, he's in the smoke. Did reveal Link's position, but they weren't able to clean that up. And that's he end up both falling inside the smoke. But I mean, honestly, early, early on, expecting the same sort of aggression in the early round for Fnatic. We know how proactive they like to be, particularly on Haven on defense. Uh, but I mean, Liquid were were there to receive it, to be quite honest. They 100% were, and I love the fact we get to see these two teams play each other. We've seen so many stylistic or characteristic pieces soul cast with that you know dirty flash that has been so good. We've seen now the you know, adaptation, the elevation coming out from you know, the likes of now Magnum on the squad, Durka there. You're going to have so much to look at. Now, this should be a comfortable round. If we look at the win conditions coming in for Fnatic here, you'll want to do a bit of damage, force maybe some uncomfortable reinvestments. And, you know, maybe a spike plant or two, but you're not really assuming that you're going to have a round win here. So for Liquid, keep it clean for them. Keep whatever they can in the pockets, work further forward, don't lose out on players. Yeah, and with Boaster walking mid and them spotting out, I mean, whatever they did over on C, they're going to hit the rotate, they're going to have free access to A site. Still a little bit hesitant, but Yampi now going to clean up whatever's left in mid. We'll actually find three kills on the round. Doma finally... I'll trade that one out. The only man to invest a sheriff. If you can do any more damage here, I mean, you've already said it, Liquid. They keep four alive. It's a big win. Planted. Ride these weapons into the next. Oh, cast and scream at you by him. Very close by. Scream just going <laughs> to swing onto that one. Nicely done by Liquid. Yeah, lovely stuff. Or standing and progress wise on the ults. I mean, Yampy and Cryptics, solid beginning. And. We talk about players who might respond well to getting a good start. Yampi might be that. Confidence players. Yeah. Um, it's it's going to be one of those that may kind of encourage that aggression that we know that he loves to dabble with, that we kind of got call of guard by the Killjoy initially when that first got brought out with him because we thought, oh, is that actually going to work out? And he actually made it look pretty good. So at this point, no worries there. We're looking for the kind of, uh, I guess, pendulum to swing to the favorable side now, Fnatic, with the rifles coming on board. I think you make a good point as well, because obviously Yampi coming onto the Killjoy has been a big talking point, but it's kind of, you know, the unorthodox play style he brings to it, right? Obviously on that, that operator and Launching way in smoke. which he likes to play, particularly on defense. So I think you're right about these early confidence boosters for him. Focus actually clear out through garage. You're going to see Magnum going to pop preemptively. The Nano Swarm will find the wall bang onto Scream. So drawing first blood in this round. Attic will have a man advantage early on. Durka just shoulder peeking this. Didn't catch one, saw the final cross there. Enough information to be relayed and support going to be hitting those rotations already. Sky's going to be towards the site. You're going to see maybe even a little bit of a lean from that raise, kind of just putting a almost shoulder towards the connector. But is Durka still here? And he's been exceptional at holding this generally. So we'll see how he fares. You're going to have the slow creep up. And yeah, he does exceptionally well again. Durka down, puts the wall up, tries to deny any quick pace off the back. Takes the peak. Oh, that's good. He even knows there's another now. Great damage done. And this is perfect play. This is why we look at Durka as being one of those huge swing ups for Fnatic as the latest form from them has been impeccable. Zolkas going to send a flash up. Actually, both are already closing the distance on the flag. And there you go. Link and Zolkas will fall. I love the play from Durka there. The, the slow orb goes down first. He throws the wall up. And actually, he's got an opportunity to peek off the top of the box whilst they're still in the slow. A little messy, but finds one kill nonetheless. I mean, potentially has an opportunity to find both there. It's a little bit off with the spray, but... Didn't end up mattering all that much and 
Fnatic will put their first on the board. See, uh, another buy coming out from Liquid. Yampi, the only one really down on the Sheriff, but lockdown available here, so potentially we'll see uh, an execute here. Placing swarm grenade. You know, I'd see some of you know people call off by the no duelists, but hey, this is not the first time we've seen it, and it's looked actually very good uh, when it comes out for these teams. They can make it look exceptionally uh, well refined, and it's more the players on the agent than the agent themselves. Just keep your eyes on uh, <coughs> Yampi, is all I'm going to say. Maybe not this round. Who knows? But again, if you are just tuning in, I know some of you ignore us while we're on cam. You only tune in once we're in the match, which hey, I don't blame you. It's actually going to be... None of these teams are really in trouble. This is for that first spot, for the pride on the line. We are going to see Durkin now cleared out. That's lovely work. The Flash now bails him out, though. Look at that. Oh, no Durkin! That Flash Back set up, that little game. piece of play there was so well done between Durka and Mystic just kind of waiting it out with that Flash to hand. Link, yes, he can make a play up here, but... <coughs> oh, okay. Call me off. Link, fair enough. Fills the gap, but the spike is down by Durka. And the gravity well was so perfectly timed as well. True. Okay. Set him up for that. Durkin is cleaning house in sewers. Thinking cryptics now. Go try and dig that spike out from sewers, but again, Magnum and Boaster bringing up the flank here. Going to try and reinforce left. with Durka. It'll be really difficult for them to get something done. 25 seconds left on the clock as well. This is tricky. So many <laughs> players in such unorthodox positions now. See Boaster just going through the time there, buying it, takes the fight, wins it, looks for another, not going to get it, but the trade's effective for Magnum. But the start of that round was the key piece, right, Hypoc? Let's kind of throw our minds back to that short little setup that we had between Dirk and Mystic, I guess initially, but then Boaster's addition as well. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, you can see it perfectly here. The slow Orb goes through. It's time for the Gravity Well to completely lock them down here, and Dirk finds it. Uh, I mean, I'll go ahead and say it. Probably the three easiest kills we're going to see all day. We take day. those. <laughs> all day. We absolutely take them, but beautiful combination of work. Lovely little crunch there from Fnatic, and you, you can see what it means. Liquid, there's no reply to be had to that. You've been absolutely done. So, at this point, though, we look back towards Liquid as their money will, of course, have suffered. We do still have Scream on the rifle, but everyone else suffering accordingly. Judges, sheriffs, a little bit of light armor. Yeah, uh, we purchased to see a 2-2, um, mm -hmm. to be honest, but maybe this is based around the Ultimates Lockdown and Viper's Pit available, but Doma should be able to catch Yampi, and there it is, yeah. And four members of Liquid, no choice but to watch that one go down. Looking like Liquid still want to force the issue here. The Flash is going to come through to backside. Smoke's down as well. Again, Utility of front sight going to keep Liquid at bay for the time being. Boaster once again creeping. Oh, they've gone through on the side, though, so that time limit might be a little bit tricky now. Mystic needs to live, and he does, at least for the first. Spike is planted, but there's the cleanup crew pitch. making it to the site on time. Refined and talking about, let's say, uh, fundamentals or the things that really make a team look solid in rounds like this, keeping it clean. Yeah, they'll give yeah. up the spike plant. That's fine. You know, it, it could spiral potentially, but those flanks were great. They were well-timed. Yes, they didn't you know, get too many initial kills, but the positioning at the end was fantastic to clean back through. And with Mystic be able to hold down these extremities, allowing all the players to be knowing exactly where they're going to be. Beautiful playback in. Well, the problem is, I mean, I said it early on, with, with the weapons they've got, they're, they're, they're forced to play close contact somewhere, right? Which is, I mean, timing-wise on that round, as soon as they lose the first member, Yampi, in mid, you kind of have to sit there and watch it happen. That, that whole time, there's no information elsewhere on the map, but it gives Boaster all the time in the world to, to fully clear everything. I mean, walking through. Once again, actually, Boaster getting a little bit feisty down mid. Himself into window early on in the round. Cryptic's here to greet him once again. Boaster comes out on top. All right, smoke criminal. I see you, Boaster. Yampy now. Yeah, can't quite aim train his way out of that window, but does a good job of it. Magnum best him. Spray down from Magnum. Actually finds another. That's incredibly surprising. I thought Soulcast was going to convert that, but apparently not. Two now left. Link and Scream towards the site. Spike. The hands of Link going to be planted. Scream on bodyguard duty, but the three plane back in through Garage, taking their time, and there's the ult invested. Yeah, Orbital Strike going to cancel out the lockdown immediately, and they can't get past this wall just yet. 
Oh, the... well, actually, Liquid look like they want to play this aggressively. Link and Scream both creeping up towards they the need to. Oh, oh, They need that. to! They 100% needed that! Link, no way did you just pull that off! And Durkan <laughs> does it! He's back. the heartbreaker right now! Liquid fans on the Copium as we speak! But Fnatic's Durker is the immovable man, right? He's just like, oh, Link, you th you thought you were going to get a little clip there? You thought you were going to be on the Reddit? No, 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 no. The round's ours, boys. Four to two. Fnatic stable, keeping things cooking. And the economy is outstanding. We're seeing already 9K being thrown around here. They're already fantastic. Link made the right choice, right, Hypo? Yeah, he had yeah. to make a play. He had to be proactive. They were, what, in a 2v4? You don't normally win those if, you're, if there aren't too many mistakes. So he had to be proactive. But, again, a swift answer back from Durka. No, you're right. They've, they've got to do something to swing that back in their favor. Odds-wise, they give Fnatic time to set up. It's it's only going to go badly for them. Uh, still got the Viper's bit in the lockdown available. Cryptix and Yampi. We haven't seen Liquid lean towards an execute based around those. Those Cryptics, you can expect him to do that post-plant. Solkas again on the Judge. He was one that bought it previously as well, so I'm not sure if his economy has suffered for a couple of rounds now because of those offbeat. But all oh, the time in their screen just gives up the angle. And now Boaster once again to creep his way through. And with the turret, with the turret down, the utilities yep. offline, they're not going to have any um, flank control whatsoever. And this is quite quick. If, if there can be a little bit of time bought in middle, if Doma can keep them busy, there's, this is where the flank could be huge. And there's going to be a player beside him as well. Magnum's right there. Boaster doubles down. down. This is comfy work looking like for Fnatic. They've got this one wrapped up. And this is just beautiful, beautiful play from Boaster. We've been talking about this guy as initially the IGL, right? The man who had the personality, the man who's always going to be on the webcams doing the dances, always getting the fans' attention. But... He's the real deal in the server right now. You can't look past it. The combination that he's been coming up with, not only in his kind of strategic approach, the kind of IGL sort of uh, mentality that he brings, but also the firepower that he's elevated. Yeah, for sure. I, I, I want to see Liquid kind of reset a little bit here, take a little more control in the early round, mm. maybe spread a little more thin in the default. Because they've got to keep Boaster in check. If, if, if they allow him to keep doing this, and unfortunately the timing there with obviously the turret going offline. Yeah. Screen just giving up that angle a split second before he would have caught line of sight. But look at it again. Liquid is so stacked up and it's so deep into spawn and towards a lobby. Yes, the purchase is not so good here, but Fnatic going to make them pay for it here. And they have all the information. The fact that they're not seeing anybody here. The Cosmic Divide actually goes up to block the turret, Lauren. Oh, this is sick. That space now is massive to be worked with. Liquid, they don't know what's coming their way. Dirk is going to be denying them already at the very start of things. They're all bundled up towards long, and there's the man around the back. It's going to be Boaster again. One player this time is all he's going to achieve. Scream will put him to bed. But by this point, they're down to three players. This is going to be brutal to try and build a way out. You've lost all information on the flank now, so they have to clear meticulously. 47 seconds on the board is all they've got to play with. Yeah, they're actually going to revert back towards eight. Still three players. I mean, <laughs> to be honest, Magnum can chill. He's got all of his utilities set for long here, and with Scream kind of giving away his whereabouts. Thirty seconds left. That's it. Can just hold strong here. Scream and creeping. Still want to make something happen here on eight. Yeah. It's yeah, I mean, you've got oh, Doma. It's nasty. It's nasty of you, Doma. There's no way past it. Mystic on the swing, because they had to deal with Doma. Yeah. The, the the synergy between these players right now is ex exceptionally good. No dangers to be had. No overpeaking. No overstepping. I, I love this. This is Fnatic just looking strong. They're not depending on just kind of, you know, these quirky plays. They're not doing anything too weird and wonderful. Some really nice utility pieces, but... Beyond that, this is just very smooth sailing. They're crossing all the T's, dotting the I's, and it looks beautiful. Six to two, Liquid, you're right. They need to get a little bit of a reset here, find a way back in, maybe get a couple of players feeling themselves. Scream, uh, two to six right now. Yampy, six to eight. They're your pop-off players, so might need them to find a little bit more space. Uh oh, Yampy. They got that operator online, but Doma taps it out. Find that Scream does have the res here, but it's tricky being in the open at the end of C-Long to make that work for them. You will not See, they are going to stick you here, Domo. I don't think... Oh, oh yeah, oh. yeah, see, a little bit. 
a little bit overzealous trying to Ambitious. shut that down and uh, we'll lose his life for it. Well, Boaster is still here. He's got support through Garage and the rotation coming in from Durka. So, Yampi, you don't often get two bites at the cherry. Now he's in a bit of trouble. Oh, that's Ooh. not pretty. He's been outdone by Durka just flying up on top and now it's going to be a pretty much a, a, a comfortable round, question mark, at least on holding C. Now, I'm looking... At the minimap here, I'm seeing the spike making a mad dash towards A. After maybe seeing oh, Durka, no, um, Doma, some of these players who are more categorist categoristically towards A, you're going to see them go for it. Now, Magnum can thread the needle. Oh, now, the this info. will probably catch off one. That's there it is. Done. Magnum now knows what's up. And the rotations have already come in. Smokes are down. Spike to be planted. Left. Yeah, really, I mean, that removes a big piece off the board. The liquid in this post plant because that's Viper's pit. Cryptic's yeah. being that far away and getting caught off guard. Magnum already on the flank. Orbital strike available for Link, but uh, yeah, they've got to take some active angles here. And Screen will find Boaster. So the pinch is on. One enemy Up remaining. On Scream. One we need remaining. one of those magical moments, please. He's looking for it. He's trying to find that headshot, but Durka is having a game, ladies and gents. Sit back. Crack open a tinny and enjoy this, because that's now going to be seven to two. Fnatic starting to stretch their legs a little in this, take a bit more of that decisive lead. Yeah, they're gonna. Uh, I gotta say it. Yes, that kind of fell apart. And they had to invest a lot in terms of throwing bodies towards C Long, but Magnum again just able on the back of that to, to walk mid for free. Is close enough to hear out the rotation and catch the trailing player, which was Cryptix, making his way back off C Long. And I understand why he's there. That like he's still trying to make Fnatic think potentially that hit's coming towards C, but little things like that that early on in these rounds. I mean, Magnum and Boaster in particular know that they can get away with murder in terms of this creeping. Scream. Ooh, outdone by Doma, not necessarily. Oh my yeah, word, Magnum these again. boys have shut One it down. Liquid Floor, they could be brave, be bold for a second, took a step out, took maybe a fight, oh. and they just get absolutely decimated. Fnatic are rolling through this Whoa. game. This is the problem now. Again, the first time that they actually try and fight for it, and they get absolutely destroyed, right? So now it's going to have them thinking, well, we can't fight for mid, we can't give up the flank, we can't stack up towards a lobby fight for that control. Spike down, Honestly, mid. Liquid, One <laughs> kind of short main. for ideas right now, and... <sighs> that was just so, so clean. As, as soon as contact comes through, Magnum, uh, I mean, has a free peek. Picks up those two kills in mid. Now, again, keep in mind, this will be a tactical timeout for Liquid coming in. These boys will be looking through their options, I imagine, at this point. Trying to consider what the best foot forward is, and uh, again, I don't, I don't think I need to lie to you guys at home. This, I, I genuinely feel these teams need to be um, refining maybe some unique elements in this. You know, mid-round calling, mid-round adaptation, good ways to know how players like to play. I would say Fnatic are a very unorthodox team, though. They're yeah. very hard to kind of go. Well, grand scheme, we're going to look at them like we're looking at maybe North American teams. They do not play the same. It, it it hit different all right so again i i think it's gonna be interesting to see what liquid can come up with on the fly now let's just look at the buy again for liquid two judges a guardian and a bulldog a sheriff on yampy still got the lockdown still got the viper's pit Matic just not even giving them an opportunity to get them on mine as i say that you gotta get both invested here towards B. Magnum again looking to creep and he's completely unchecked once again. It is traded out, but... Can't keep getting away with murder. Now, obviously, they have judges to play inside the Viper's Pit, so not a terrible situation for them. No. Scream's position is going to be quite interesting. I want to see what he does with this. That's what he's going to do. Finds Mystic, looks good at it. All goes up, still tries to maintain, and he does. This is Scream now, just having one of those rounds, maybe a little fired up after the kind of uncharacteristic losing of the jewels in the previous, but now Doma was the man who kept him humbled. Not going to get it this round. And now just Boaster alive, and this one will be going Liquid's way. Yeah, if we can, uh, again, really do any damage here. <laughs> Judge is the best gun in the game. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Last round in the half. That will be Liquid. Uh, 
I mean, getting back on the board, posting around win. We'll be able to get some rifles. Obviously upgrade in that round. Them in. Score line not looking great at all. Uh, um, really, again, I've said this a few times before. You know, if, if this ends as 8-4, it's nothing short of a miracle. With the way this, this half has played out, uh, really, it's a miracle if Liquid can, can close down. this out with four Everybody rounds. Dirk are going to be up on the op as well. And that's something we hadn't seen too much of. He doesn't really need it. We've seen him to be that hybrid player. He's not one of those that have... 100% dedicated to the op, but when he picks it up, he's exceptionally good at it. I mean, what's he not good at at this point? Solkas trying to exploit with a little <laughs> tuck your head down, try and stay out of dodge, and actually managing to stay alive. Magnum! <laughs> how did that work? I don't know how the big boy himself didn't get found, but <gasps> Durka, there's Yampi. Finally, Yampi feels like he wants to maybe wake up a little here today. Bit of a quieter start. Boaster goes for a walk down towards Sea Long. Can't outdo Cryptics, though. Now three remain. For the Fnatic side, Seeker's coming through, going on past by Cryptics. You can see the heal coming out as well, just to get him top back up. Actually, Magnum going to invest the lockdown, countered with the Orbital Strike as well. Flash is traded back and forth, but it's actually Fnatics that land. We'll find two kills off the back of that, Cryptics and Yampi. Up against oh, Magnum no. and Doma here. Yampi has managed to get all the way into B site. We'll find the first Doma. We'll pick that up. He's got the showstopper online as well. So 30 seconds left. Big advantage here. And Cryptic's down to 69 HP. Okay. Yeah, she just said anything you can do, I can do better. But let's see if Doma can deal with this post plant. Boombot gives him room. He knows that. Oh, that, that oh. bye bye doesn't even matter. No. no. <laughs> well, yeah, Doma's loving that one. Yeah. And like earlier, I guess that's the freest kill Doma's going to get all day. The Boombot closing that one out for him. Fnatic will finish up 9-3. The defensive half, really, really good stuff. I, I mean, it's it's all on Liquid now to really turn this around early on. And look, we know that Fnatic's offensive side is solid. They're probably one of the... It's hard to say better teams overall, you know what I mean? Because you could argue that FPX were one of the better teams overall, but they ain't here, so what does it matter? I would say, though, that Fnatic in their current form is so hard to deal with, and we have all ghosts. What's, and this is the thing, you talk about them being unorthodox, but it's the synergy around that. It, it is. It's how much they're willing to invest three, maybe four bodies sometimes on these uh, walking mid. You know, Magnum swinging out garage as soon as Boaster gets contact, and... It's the willingness to make that test. kind of unorthodox play work. Well, we do have Yampin being made the raid boss here. Frenzy out, light armor on. Going for a wander down towards Suet. And Boaster beginning to have a vision. little bit of a exploration middle through towards Garage. He's got a lot to deal with here with... Uh... Oh, Link actually drifted away. He's going to get caught on the gravity well as well. And dealt with very quickly now. Link actually falls onto him. He's good for two, but traded out. Brings it to a 3v3 here as rotation starting to come through for Liquid, but Spike planted with almost no pressure Spike coming back planted. on so they can set up comfortably for this post plant. Scream going to start his crusade further towards the site. Mystic on site itself. Boaster at the back box. And timing on this splash is going to be integral. Yeah, Boaster. Uh, Boaster. Okay, it worked. It's fine. We didn't see anything. Yampi now the 1v2 was up on the armor earlier. That's been depleted. Spots out the tail end of one, but it's Mystic to find him. And Fnatic start things off with a bang. Great beginning for them. Now keep in mind, this is a best of five. It's a longer series, but Fnatic at this point coming out and looking sharp today. Yeah, and on double digits, on the brink of, of going to 11 as well, with Liquid looking like they're going to throw Sheriffs at this round. I mean, surprise, really, with the purchases in the first half, they're not going to just force back in. Yeah. See Fnatic stacking up towards A lobby this time. And, uh, I mean, again, just look at the difference here. There's. Uh, it, it, it's spread a lot wider here in the early round, so they have this map control. They're going to be able to pick up Soulcast here because Magnum is ready and waiting for the possibility that Liquid try and get a little funky with it. There you go. Spot on. Big difference. And now the push just seems 
too easy sounds brutal, but maybe cryptics can dissuade me from my opinions. Gonna find Dirk up. Paul's Boaster back in for a second look, and Yampy gets to try and play the game on the site. No, not allowed. No games today for you. Boaster puts him into the next round as Cryptics link and scream. Okay, Cryptics. Oh. Oh. Uh, and now the last two a mile away. Spike to be planted. And the post plant should be pretty comfortable. Screaming again <laughs> goes without saying. <laughs> if they want to way back into this half, they're going to do some damage here. I'm going to get tagged up by Boaster. Information Watch given over smoke. to Fnatic now, and they can just stabilize the death grip on the sea site. Right. Going to come in, try and die to the spike at least, but Mystic ready with the flash here. Oh, oh the timing could not have been worse. Scream, lovely shot but the round is what he was aiming for which of course Fnatic are gonna garner this is solid stuff from Fnatic no need to overdo it but everyone's having a good game so far from that side this isn't just the Durka show it isn't just the Magnum show it, it's it's everyone's having a good approach so far it's now or never I'd say for Liquid at this sort of uh, score margin Hypoc they, they have to win this round they do. I'm just looking at it. I mean, five light armors across the board. Best ult progress is Link. He's two away from the orbital strike. So nothing really to, uh, I guess, sway this back in their favor. Pulling them in. Matic actually able to get two rifles online here. Magnum and Durka with a random Concealment. Vandal and Phantom, respectively. Looks like Boaster's first test would be towards Yampi and towards B. Boma creeping sewer. Taking that back. Boaster clearing out a little bit of that utility on the way if possible. And I think Yampi might repush this. It's Yampi. Yeah, of course he does. And he goes. Magnum now gone. It might even encourage him to play a little faster. It does. The timing for Yampi works out so well. Boaster turns his back, but now there's more. And there he stands. And there he goes. Durka with the effective trade. And now look at what's left. It's still a 3v2. Durka and Doma are still very much alive in this. Doma's got space and he can get towards the site uncontested here. Still got his nade as well. And Dirk has got the wall, so a good opportunity, really, with all three players of Liquid opting to try and flank here. Dirk and Doma could potentially force them into one of the choke points coming back onto A site. Now, if... Oh, he's actually going to wall off the spawn. It's fair enough. Spice Why is it, I mean, yeah, no information. He's, he's got to invest yeah. it one way or the other. Toxins going up. I guess with the Viper wall on this side, they're going to get pretty close to the burst on this. Durka is still sitting towards that graffiti wow, side there. Running. And yeah, look at the shot down. It's still standing. solid for them. It's going to be Cryptics on 100, though, and Doma did already readjust towards the site itself. Doing the dance, Cryptics tries to clear it for free, but Doma up and over wants to find him quickly. He's just trying to buy the time. Cryptics can't get to him. Oh, Doma. Doma. Just too damn good. He's done him dirty there. Uh, still had his nade as well, so if potentially he runs the clock down a little more, he can force Cryptics off the defuse as well. Just so well played between Durka and Doma. And again, it's the two for one. As soon as Liquid stack up and they're ready and they're, they're, they're in a position where they can actually a attempt this retake. And it's a two for one trade in, in favor of Fnatic. Really, really well played from them. And puts them on map point already, Liquid. Getting shut out of this one. Again, a funky purchase. Look at it. Two Spectres, a Guardian, a Judge. Oh, screen. Out of nowhere. Okay. Finds two. I mean, we weren't expecting that, and clearly the Observer wasn't no. either. That was just out of nowhere. Now, yeah, I think Fnatic have gone, Whoa, what? <laughs> This is just one of those rounds where you, you've just you've, you've just been screamed, right? It happens. Scream if you want to go faster, but there is an answer. It's now on 2v3. Oh, as well. Okay, Seeker's come up. And Dirk is... Oh, this is so good from Dirk. He's still trying to find still the kill. He knows, he knows where they're going. Rez comes in. Right, 3v3 now. While this happens, Mystic, though, is slowly working towards C. There go the counter Seekers as well. Coming back out. Soulcast now knows he's not necessarily as safe as he thought he may have been, but he has the info. Boaster going to slip through perfect. towards B. Can cut off the rotations. Two players are now being held back, at least behind Boaster. 
So this is big information. Gun barrel doesn't show first, but Bosa still finds it. Great timing. Slipping away towards the back of sight. And now Link. No, no. Oh, he's gone as well. Bosa, good work towards B. Left. Catching both of those players was essential to this. Soul cast knife out. Oh, oh no. put it away. Durka just does it.